Hey everyone, welcome to the channel, let's talk about sound. It's something we often take for granted, but it's a fundamental part of how we experience the world. From the subtle rustling of leaves to the earth-shattering roar of a stadium crowd, sound shapes our perceptions and evokes powerful emotions. For decades we've listened to music and movies in stereo, a format that revolutionized audio by creating a sense of width and separation. Stereo gave us just left and right channels, a simple yet effective way to create a soundstage. It allowed us to perceive the placement of instruments and voices, adding depth to our listening experience. Then surround sound arrived, pushing the boundaries of audio immersion even further. Surround sound worked by adding speakers around us for a more immersive experience, enveloping us in a bubble of sound. This created a more realistic and engaging experience, especially for movies and games, but now there's something even bigger, something that promises to redefine how we perceive and interact with sound. Dolby Atmos. Dolby Atmos isn't just an upgrade, it's not just another incremental improvement in audio technology, it's a complete reimagining of how we experience audio, a paradigm shift that unlocks a new dimension of sonic possibilities. Imagine sound coming from above, below and all around you, not just from the sides. Imagine sound moving with pinpoint accuracy, creating a truly three-dimensional soundscape. It's a three-dimensional canvas for music, movies, and games, allowing for a level of immersion that was previously unattainable. Artists and producers can now place sounds anywhere in space, free from the limitations of traditional stereo and surround sound. This opens up new ways to tell stories and evoke emotion, creating a more profound and impactful connection with the audience. And this isn't just for high-end theaters or dedicated home cinema setups. Atmos is in streaming services, music platforms, and even headphones, making it accessible to a wider audience than ever before. The revolution is happening in our living rooms, cars, and on the go, transforming the way we experience sound in our everyday lives. So, let's dive into what Dolby Atmos is, exploring its core principles and innovative features. We'll examine how it works, the technology behind it, and why it's changing everything we thought we knew about audio. Get ready. Get ready because this will change the way you listen forever, opening up a whole new world of sonic possibilities. So, what exactly is Dolby Atmos? It's a term you've probably heard thrown around, especially if you're into movies, music, or gaming. But what does it really mean? What makes it different from the surround sound systems we've been using for years? Let's break it down and demystify this immersive audio technology. We'll explore the core concepts behind Dolby Atmos, and understand why it's become such a game-changer in the world of audio. Traditional surround sound, like the familiar 5.1 setup, is channel-based. This means, each sound is assigned and sent to a specific speaker. The audio engineer decides which sound goes to the left, right, center, rear-left, and rear-right speakers. It's a fixed system. Dolby Atmos, on the other hand, is object-based. This is a fundamentally different approach. Instead of locking sounds to specific channels and speakers, each sound becomes an object, a distinct audio element that can be precisely placed anywhere in a three-dimensional space. Think of it as a sound with coordinates. Imagine the sound of a buzzing bee, or perhaps a complex vocal harmony, layered with different voices. Atmos lets mixers precisely position these sounds not just to your left or right but also above, behind or even beside you creating a truly enveloping experience. Height speakers mounted on the ceiling, or upward firing speakers that bounce sound off the ceiling, add that crucial vertical dimension, making the sound truly surround you in a complete sphere. It's no longer just coming from around you, but you. The system intelligently adapts to your specific speaker setup, whether you have a dedicated home theater with multiple speakers, or a more streamlined setup with just a soundbar. Atmos uses metadata, data the sound, to tell your speakers exactly where each sound object should be positioned in your room, creating a custom and optimized listening experience tailored for your specific room's acoustics. Imagine rain realistically falling from directly above you, or the distinct sound of helicopters convincingly flying overhead moving across the soundscape. And music can truly swirl and envelop you, creating a more engaging and emotional listening experience. The result is a far more realistic and immersive soundscape that pulls you deeper into the action and enhances your overall entertainment experience. Importantly, you don't need a huge array of a dozen speakers to get a taste of the Dolby Atmos experience. Atmos is versatile and works with a wide range of setups, 
even delivering a compelling experience through headphones using binaural audio technology. It's a dynamic and scalable system, designed to bring the benefits of 3D audio to everyone, regardless of their equipment. That's the magic of Dolby Atmos sound, not just around you, but truly everywhere, creating a more believable and engaging world. Now that we understand what Dolby Atmos is, let's delve deeper and see how this object-based approach changes the way audio is created and mixed in the first place. To appreciate Atmos, let's compare old and new. In channel-based mixing, a car chase's siren moves by fading between fixed speakers an illusion tied to your setup. If your speakers aren't perfectly placed, the effect falls apart. It's like painting by numbers you're limited by the grid. With Atmos, the siren is an audio object. The mixer draws its path in 3D space, not just between speakers. The sound moves naturally, overhead or around you no matter your system. The mix contains objects and metadata, not just static channels. Your Atmos processor adapts the experience to your hardware, preserving the creator's intent. Even with a soundbar, you get a sense of movement in space. This flexibility as revolutionary sound is no longer stuck to speakers. It's a future-proof way to create and experience audio. The result? More lifelike, dynamic sound for everyone. That's the Atmos difference. So, what does Atmos actually feel like? In real life, we hear sounds from every direction, above, below, all around. Atmos replicates this, making entertainment sound natural and immersive. Picture a rainforest scene. Monkeys call from the treetops, rain falls from above, a snake slithers at ground level. You're not just watching, you're inside the environment. Atmos lets sound designers place effects with pinpoint accuracy, heightening tension or realism. A creak from the ceiling in a thriller, a jet roaring overhead in an action film, you feel it, not just hear it. Even subtle moments shine dialogue, echoes in a cathedral, voices and reverberations fill the space. Atmos engages your instincts, making you believe what you hear is real. It's not just about big effects, it's about detail and emotion. The wall between you and the story disappears, you're pulled deeper into the world on screen. That's the magic of three-dimensional audio. As a musician and producer, I've always been fascinated by the evolution of sound. The way we create, manipulate, and experience music is constantly changing, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Dolby Atmos in music is a game-changer, a paradigm shift that's redefining how we perceive audio. It's not just an upgrade, it's a completely new canvas for artists. For decades, music was mixed for stereo, a format that, while familiar, imposed limitations on creative expression. Just two channels. This meant squeezing an entire sonic landscape into a narrow corridor. Producers squeezed every instrument and effect, painstakingly crafting a balanced mix within those constraints. Into left and right, carefully panning elements to create a sense of width and separation. Using tricks to create space like reverb and delay to simulate depth and dimension. With Atmos, we break free from those limitations. Music becomes three-dimensional, an immersive experience that surrounds the listener. Artists can place vocals and guitars not just left or right and strings anywhere in the sound field. Above, behind, or beside you creating a truly enveloping sonic environment. Classic tracks like the Beatles' Here Comes the Sun come alive, revealing nuances previously hidden in the stereo mix, with each element in its own space, breathing and resonating with clarity. You hear details you never noticed before, subtle intricacies that were once masked by the limitations of stereo, hidden harmonies that add depth and richness to the vocal texture, subtle percussion that provides a rhythmic foundation with newfound clarity, swirling synths that dance around you creating a mesmerizing sonic tapestry. For creators it's a dream come true. Spread out dense mixes, allowing each instrument to occupy its own space without crowding the sonic landscape. Envelop listeners in a cocoon of sound, drawing them deeper into the music, and experiment with new textures, pushing the boundaries of sonic innovation. Mixing in Atmos is an art, a delicate balance between technical skill and creative vision. Placement serves the song, not just the effect, enhancing the emotional impact and narrative of the music. Some artists create live, you are there experiences, transporting listeners to the heart of the performance. Others build surreal, impossible soundscapes, defying the laws of physics and creating sonic worlds that exist only in the imagination. We're just beginning to explore what's possible and the potential is limitless. This isn't a fad, a fleeting trend that will fade away. It's a new tool for musical storytelling, a powerful way to connect with listeners on a deeper, more emotional level. The future of music is spatial and it's an exciting journey to be a part of. Atmos started in cinema, debuting with Pixar's Brave in 2012. 
Theaters with Atmos have speakers everywhere, even on the ceiling, for precise, immersive sound. It's not just for action movies. In chaotic scenes, Atmos keeps dialogue clear and effects distinct. Explosions, bullets, and debris move realistically, but quiet moments shine too. In horror films, every footstep or creak can be placed with unnerving precision, making silence even more intense. Directors use Atmos to guide your attention, voices call from the right place, storms build overhead. It's a subtle, sophisticated way to tell stories with sound. Atmos makes movies richer, more emotional, and more real. It's changed how filmmakers use audio forever. So, why does Atmos matter? First, the immersion is unmatched. Sound surrounds you, pulling you into the story or song. Once you experience it, it's hard to go back. Second, creators get new freedom. Filmmakers and musicians can craft more detailed, dynamic soundscapes. Every instrument or effect has room to shine, making content richer and more innovative. Third, Atmos is everywhere, supported by Hollywood, streaming giants, and music platforms. Hardware is more affordable, from soundbars to headphones so more people can enjoy it. The system adapts to your setup, preserving the creator's intent whether you have a full theater or just a pair of headphones. Content is future-proof. Your investment grows as your system does. The flexibility and scalability are huge wins for consumers. Atmos isn't a passing trend, it's the new standard. It's changing how we experience entertainment, and it's only getting better. Of course, Atmos isn't perfect. The best experience requires dedicated hardware, an AV receiver, multiple speakers, and height channels, which can be expensive. Sound bars and headphones offer a taste, but the effect isn't as convincing as real ceiling speakers. Your room's shape and ceiling can impact the experience, making results inconsistent. Content is growing but not everything is available in Atmos, especially older or obscure titles. Setting up can be confusing with lots of formats and compatibility issues, it's not always plug and play, and tech hurdles can frustrate newcomers. The industry is working to simplify things but for now, there's a learning curve. Still, the benefits are worth it for many. So, what's the big takeaway? Dolby Atmos is a fundamental shift, moving from flat, channel-based sound to dynamic 3D audio. It puts you in the center of the action, unlocking new creative possibilities for artists and filmmakers. The technology adapts to your setup, making immersive sound accessible and future-proof. Yes, there are hurdles, cost, setup, and content availability, but the momentum is unstoppable. Major studios and tech companies are all in, and accessibility is improving fast. My advice? Experience it yourself. Try a Dolby Cinema, listen to Atmos music with headphones, or stream a movie with an Atmos soundtrack. The sound revolution is here. Press play and hear the difference. If you enjoyed diving into the world of Dolby Atmos, why not stick around for more audio adventures? Hit that subscribe button. You'll never miss out on the latest tech and sound breakthroughs. Smash the like button if you learned something new, and drop your thoughts or questions in the comments below. Your feedback helps this channel grow, and inspires future videos just for you. So go ahead, subscribe for more, like and comment below, and let's keep exploring the future of sound together.